What's going on everybody and happy Halloween. Uh, it's that time of year where everything's getting spooky and there's tricks and there's treats and all that good stuff. Now, I've actually been sitting on this song for about a month. This is somewhat of a deep dive, so make sure you, uh, you got your scuba gear and all that. You know, if that's your Halloween costume, you know, you got your scuba gear, all that. You're ready for a deep dive, oxygen tank topped off. Everything's looking good because we're diving in uh, to see what we find here. I've never heard of this band before, uh, so I've been really, really curious. And like I said, I've been sitting on this song for about a month. The name of this band is Elysium, and the name of the song is the Raven. And that is why I've been sitting on this because I stumbled upon it. I was curious about it, but I noticed that the lyrics are the, the lyrics or the words to Edgar Allan Poe's famous The Raven. So I was like, that would be a great song to do on Halloween. Nothing says spooky and dreary and macabre quite like Edgar Allan Poe. So I thought it would be fitting. Like I said, I, I've been really curious about this thing uh, for about a month now, so here we are. I'm gonna be checking it out, and let's hope uh, this is all treat and no trick. So, let's see what we've got here. Rangers, go. Upon a meeting 
know, uh, just a, a classic heavy metal uh, song there, pure and simple, uh, inoffensive, but uh, certainly does not break the mold or really pop out. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed the guitar riff. I, I like that guitar riff. It, it's a good riff. Uh, the song has a good rhythm uh, about it. Uh, the solo, uh, you know, all that stuff was, was solid. Um, but again, you know, it, it just, it was very relatively basic. You know, it just kind of stayed static throughout the whole song. There was no real movement, no, no real engagement, you know, with the listener. It just, it, it kind of was. And, um, you know, it, I'm a smidge disappointed uh, only in the fact that because this is, the lyrics were based off of uh, The Raven. If this was just a standalone song with, you know, their own lyrics and all that stuff, I'd be like, nah, you know, it's standard fare, but, you know, solid enough for the style that they went for. But uh, given that it's the Raven, I, the song really could have used a little bit more of a, a darker tone. Um, you know, if you're gonna adapt something like that into a song, I feel like you need a little something extra. Uh, like I said, a, a little bit of a gothic tinge to it. Um, you know, they, they could have added a little bit of keyboard in the background, a little bit, maybe like organ, sounds just a little bit I'm not, I'm not talking like it needs to be full-on symphonic and all this stuff no just a little bit of a, a like i said a dark keyboard medley or a little bit of organ playing in the background not even throughout the whole song kind of like in the beginning maybe the bridge uh, the ending something just to kind of give you get, get you in the right mood you know uh, give off the mood of, of the the material that they're ad adapting um, or even add a little bit of choirs in there, something, just something, because it, it just, it just feels just relatively basic. It just kind of falls a little flat, in my opinion. Um, maybe I'm being too harsh uh, because of my expectation, because of, you know, they're using the lyrics of the Raven, but even with that aside, it, it just, a very standard kind of sounding song. Um, you know, they're talented folks, Without a doubt, like I said, I enjoyed the guitar riffs. Um, the solo was nice. The the rhythm, I dig it. I, I dig that classic heavy metal sound. Uh, they definitely nail that. Uh, the drum work, I, I like the drum work a lot. Some really good uh, kick drum kind of work in there that that gives you a little bit of that momentum, a little bit of that oomph. The one thing I'll say about the vocals, I don't mind his voice, but it, it, his vocals just feel a little bit stifled to me. Like, they just sound very reserved um, and just static. You know, I feel like uh, I would have liked a little bit more movement in his voice because I feel like almost like he's holding back. That's what it kind of sounds like to me. Uh, like someone going up to karaoke and, you know, they're not super comfortable singing. So they're just kind of singing kind of reserved and, and they're not like really going all out you know they're just kind of hitting the notes and just kind of singing like this and just keeping it just very neutral uh so i would have liked a little bit more out of his voice i feel like it's there and and that's why it just kind of sounds like he's holding back but uh you know i wish that he would have just really really you know had some movement to his voice really really showed some passion in there uh, i guess that's another thing the song just feels like there's no real passion uh fueling it they're just all kind of playing um the song it's like the song is there and, and they're playing it and the dude's just singing it and that's about that so you know that's really my take on it, it it just, it is what it is, um, and if you take away the fact that it's the Raven, um, which, you know, it's a standard classic heavy metal song that uh, hits the sound, you know, it definitely sounds uh, like the style, uh, the guitar work, like I said, was good. The vocals, I really, really just wish that he had shown a little bit more passion behind the vocals, a little bit more of an oomph, because it just sounded... You know, like he's just up there, just kind of, he's just singing the song. Um, 
So yeah, I, you know, I'm curious to check out more of the band and, and kind of see what their their full range is. See what they're they're really capable of because this song was just kind of just really kind of standard fare. And given the fact that they they use the the lyrics to the Raven. I wish there was a little bit more of a gothic tinge in there, a little bit more of an atmosphere, because there really was no atmosphere. And that's what I think about it. You know, I always give you all my honest opinion. It's just my own humble opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this one here. Uh, are you familiar with the band? You know, uh, what do you like? You know, uh, is there another song or, you know, is there an album that you like? Or you know, what do you think of this song here? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. And again, Happy Halloween to y'all out there. Beware of the tricks and uh, also beware of the treats because there may be tricks within the treats. That, that's going deep, huh? Anywho, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Ranger.